Well, Gaff, let's start with Ronnie Edwards, yeah. um, a player that has got tremendous potential. He must be delighted you, you've tied him down on a longer term contract. Yeah, absolutely delighted. Obviously, he's come in. He's caught everyone's attention, but his calmness and his maturity in the way he plays. Obviously, he's, he's been part of the first team, suffered some injuries, um, which has been a bit of a a hiccup for him this season. He's missed a large part of it, which which was a shame really, because he would have he would have played a bigger part. Then obviously managed to get the game against Doncaster last week, so he, he's a big one for us because we do see a re real potential in the boy. Uh, and when we spoke at the end of the season, myself and 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 the chairman and Jason and Randy and Barry, we went through all the players we wanted to sort out contracts, and he was probably one of the first ones that we said, look, we've got to get him tied down. And thankfully, we've done that. Mm. And he's in the right place for his development, really. Is he his age and, and, and what you do for younger players? Yeah, I think him and his family see that, and that, that that's good. I think they see that there's real possibilities here of, of being in the first team as a young lad and, and being developed the right way. And I think when it comes down to contract negotiations, that always helps. And Barry Barry's met the family and, and, it's, and the agent, and it's been done very, very quickly. So, no, we're all delighted. And, and Ricky J. Jones, similar in terms of age, uh, he's had more exposure to first team football, and you know everyone can see the potential he's got too. Yeah, Ricky's uh, developed nicely over the last, you know, it's been a couple of years now, really. Um, you know, the boy's got massive potential. He, you could see the the improvement in his in his performance against Doncaster in terms of the things he needs to improve on with his movement. His hold up play was very very good. We all know that he's got that pace that frightens defenders and gets you up the pitch, he presses, his energy is very good, he needs to improve in certain bits, but you can see uh, against Doncaster, I felt that's the best he's done in terms of you know, playing against two experienced centre-halves, uh, I thought he was outstanding, so if he continues that, then clearly he's going to be involved, So, and he's been involved when, again, he's unfortunately picked up a, an injury or two uh, this season, but he's generally been involved all the way through, um, so again, another one that it's it's important that you, you get the balance right of of what we're trying to do as a club and obviously there's more established first team players more experienced older players but the young ones are a massive part of the football club moving forward and it was really imperative we got these two sorted so Ricky and Ronnie were, were absolutely delighted this stuff. Mm. Nathan Thompson obviously was, uh, was coming to the end of his contract he was out of contract obviously in the summer he's someone obviously you were desperate to keep given his performances last season and, and I guess Pleased in the, in the environment that we're in at this moment, time to get that one done as well. Yeah, he, because you know Tom was out of contract and it couldn't really be negotiated until we knew what league we were going to be in. So and obviously that went to the wire. And the boy, to be fair, has has been aware of that uh, and has just got on with it. So he's been very professional. Uh, and again, another one we said we have to get sorted out. Um, and thankfully, the, Tom was agreed. He's really enjoying his football. Him and his family are really settled in the area, so it was a big one for us that because obviously you do have more of a worry when they're out of contract, which he was. But I'm um, thankfully again that's sorted as well now. And his experience on and off the pitch could be valuable. Yeah, I think I think that showed last season. He's a really good character, really good in the dressing room, um, really calm lad, intelligent boy. You know, in terms of uh, says the right things at the right time. And for a manager, it's invaluable to have that in the dressing room. So, yeah, he, and, and his performances have been outstanding. He's been one of our most consistent players, whether it be at right back, whether it be at centre half. Um, and he's just got to continue that and touch Woody as a good pre season and, and, and stays clear of injury. Mm. Dan Butler was in a, a similar situation, and again, he, he showed it what he's all about last season. He, he was up and down that left side, and, and you need that in the championship as well. Yeah, you need athletes. You need, uh, again, a real sort of backbone of the team, these players, in terms of Tomo and Butts, and we're going to need that in abundance next season, the character that we showed to help us get promoted this season, you know. So again, another one that he was coming to the end of his contract, and again, we felt it was important that we got this done. So again, we're delighted he's agreed, he loves it here, um, he enjoys coming in every day, he's a big part of what we're trying to do. Um, so th those two, Tomo and, and, and Butler, because of the contract situation, were very important. And I think you know credit to to the chairman and the owners that we've managed to get them done very very quickly. And 
to be fair, we didn't hang about as soon as we knew what we were doing after Lincoln. We said, right, this is what we're going to do. Barry then obviously started negotiating. So thankfully we've got it done. And of course, when you go into the last year of the contract, the club has always had the policy of putting them on a transfer list. So how pleasing is it that Frankie Kent is sort of off that table, if, if that's the right terminology, because you've got him tied down on a longer date? Yeah, we, we've got a few that are, are coming into the last year and, and the policy of the club has always maintained the same, that we don't want them to go into the last year because it leaves you exposed to obviously losing them for nothing um, if they're over 24, which in the case of obviously... Uh, Frankie, you know, it, it would have been a, a, a situation we didn't want to go into. He, he's been a brilliant signing for us, Frankie. He's been very, very consistent. He's definitely improved. Um, another one that comes in, gets on with his work, enjoys it, knows he's at the right club for him. And I think he can kick on again, Frankie. It'll be a real good test for him next season in the Championship. But yeah, he, he was one that we sat down and said, OK, this is, that's, that's, address the situation and let's try and resolve it quickly. And again, it was a, 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 the chairman and Barry, it was quite a quick negotiation, uh, which isn't always the case. So I'm just glad as a manager that we get these deals done so quickly and grateful that it, it can be done that way. And, and in terms of Frank, he's kind of been under, underrated, undervalued in terms of the sport. He's just got on with it. You know, he's come from you know, League Two and, and slotted straight in and as if he's been a model pro in his life. Yeah, not underrated by me or his teammates, I have to say. And I know what you're saying. He he, he can go under the radar a little mm. bit, and he just he, I think that's because he's so consistent. And you just expect an eight out of ten all the time from Frankie. He's still got things to improve. The boy, he knows that. But he's done very very well. Whether it be in a back four, whether he's he, he, we've now found it, you know, at right of the centre half, he's played left of the centre half. He could easily play in the middle if we play a three. But yeah, he's he's just been very very consistent, and I have no no worries about. Frankie Cup in the Championship, mate, you'll be absolutely fine. And just finally, have you had any sleep yet? The season's been, what, three, yeah. three weeks off? Are you getting any rest? Yeah, I've been relaxing. It's, it's a lot easier to to sleep now it's all over. But, nah, it's it's been fine spending a bit of time with Nick and the, and the, and the kids and obviously things like that. But it, it doesn't it doesn't stop fully. You know, you, you've still got to do your work. You've still got to sort these sort of things out. We've still got to try and recruit the right players, which we're doing. So it's not really, obviously it's a lot less, I'm not going to say the word stressful, but it's, there's a lot less work to do in terms of coming in the building and all that that can be done at home. So that's nice. But yeah, we, we, we've got to, you know, last season's gone now. We, we now, we need to focus on next season. Yeah, of course, everyone needs a good break mentally and physically, which hopefully everyone will get to a degree. But I think it's important that we can't, uh, we can't stop now, we've got to be you know, relentless and, and trying to get the right players in and that's what we're trying to do now.